Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I've prepared a quiz to determine what your apparel would be in the Star Wars universe. If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. Now, before we begin, grab a pen and paper or something to keep track of your answers and scores. After each question, select one response that aligns with how you choose to be in the Star Wars universe. It will then reveal how many points each response is worth, add that number to your tally. At the end, we'll add up all the points from the questions to determine which result you got. Alright, let's begin. Question 1. You learn that an order has been executed and the result is the slaughter of your peers. Execute. Order 66. Do you A. Ignore it, you have to look out for yourself. B. Exile to a desolate planet and hide there for years. C. Send out a distress code to help prevent other peers from dying. D. Channel your fury and attack anyone that is against you or your peers. E. Return to your headquarters to save anyone you can, even if it means battling many opponents. Question 2. Your home planet gets blown up. I have chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Alderaan. You may fire when ready. What?! <laughs> Do you A. Do nothing, be thankful you were not on the planet at that time B. Seek revenge on whoever did this, they will pay with their lives C. Mourn those lost and set up a memorial to remember them and their culture D. Take a short time to grieve alone, but you must move on as soon as possible E. Determine whoever did this and blow up their home planet in revenge. Question 3. You are a prisoner and a vicious animal has been set loose to kill you. Do you? A. Use the animal control ability to make them an ally and escape the situation. B. Defend yourself at all costs. Your life is in danger. C. Kill the animal and the one who imprisoned you. They should not have been so foolish. D. Go into a blind rage. Strike down anything that is in your way to the exit. E. Take cover and wait for the situation to resolve itself. Question 4. While in a battle with your enemy, you defeat them and end up cutting off their arms, making them helpless for the moment. Do you A. Use force heal on them, even your enemy shouldn't suffer. B. Leave them, you have more important things to worry about. C. No hands, it wouldn't be right to leave them with legs. D. Behead them. No more worrying about that enemy. E. Arrest them and send them away as they are. Question 5. You get force connected with someone who is not wearing a shirt. I'd rather not do this now. Yeah, me too. Why did you hit your... Do you have something, a cow or something you can put on? Do you A. Ogle at their body. They obviously did this to show off to you. B. Ignore it. Try to continue on with the conversation. C. Request that they cover themselves up. This is making you uncomfortable. D. Cover your eyes. You do not want to make them uncomfortable. E. Use telekinesis to put the shirt on for them. Question 6. 
You and your two companions get captured by the First Order. Do you? A. Do what you can to save them. You all shouldn't have to go down. B. Work as a team to try and escape together. Strength in numbers, right? C. Abandon them and save yourself. They're only going to slow you down. D. Do nothing. Except that this is your fate now. E. Sell them both out to the First Order to save yourself and make a little cash. Question 7. Your Padawan questions your authority in front of others. We will find out who's trying to kill you, Padawan. I promise you. We will not exceed our mandate, my young Padawan learner. And you will pay attention to my lead. Why? Do you... A. Give him a firm backhand. How dare you be so ungrateful to question your authority. B. Abandon him as your Padawan. If he won't listen to you, then there's no point in trying to teach him. C. Cut off his right arm as a warning. Next time he does this, you'll cut off all his limbs. D. Excuse yourself and ask your Padawan to speak in private. No need to air dirty laundry. E. Listen to what your Padawan has to say. Maybe he can bring up a valid point to your mission. Question 8. You have a forced vision of someone you love dying. Do you, A, seek advice from the Jedi Council, they'll know what's best. B, kill younglings in hopes of gaining dark-sided abilities to save your loved one. C, do nothing, let the future unfold as it will. D, hope the vision comes true, this could be the key to unlocking your full potential. E, ignore it, tell no one about it, in hopes that it doesn't come true. Question 9. Where did you get your clothes from? A. You killed someone and stole them. B. They were handed down to you. C. You made them yourselves. D. Online. That way you avoided talking to anyone. Question 10. What does your attire mean to you? A. Protection for combat. B. Nothing more than clothing. C. A fashion statement. D. A way to keep hidden. Alright, that was the last question. Good job on finishing the quiz. Now just add up all the points from the questions and we'll find out which result you have in the Star Wars universe. Between 10 and 17, you got Jedi robes. Jedi robes with the flowing garments typically worn by members of the Jedi Order. Although the Jedi had no official uniform, their clothing tended to follow a pattern consisting of an under tunic, an over tunic, an outer robe with a deep hood and wide sleeves, loose fitting trousers, and a broad sash tied about their waist. They generally varied in earth tones, although some Jedi were known for wearing darker versions. Between 18 and 25, you got the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit, also known as overalls or coveralls, were any one-piece garment which covered much of the body. They were designed to protect the body of its wearer and to provide maximum mobility on ground-based missions, as well as the obvious advantages for starfighter piloting. They would typically come in a variety of colors ranging from orange, green, white, black, or blue. Between 26 and 34, you got the civilian outfit. Civilian outfits were influenced by many factors from climate to wealth. They were worn by the majority of the galaxy and typically were influenced depending on their species, planet, culture, or career. Civilian outfits could be anything from a typical smuggler wearing a shirt, vest, holster, and pants to a Wookiee wearing nothing but a bandolier. Between 35 and 45, you got the royal outfit. Royal outfits were worn by the galaxy's monarchs and were rich with symbolic embellishments. They could range from featuring luxurious fabrics, costly jewels, and statement headdresses to dressing modestly with a relatively simple design, muted color, and a nice cape. Royal outfits were usually meant to show off status or wealth. 
Between 46 and 54, you got Mandalorian armor. Mandalorian armor was the traditional armor worn typically by the warrior clans of Mandalore. Common traits of the armor included a helmet with a T-shaped visor that concealed their faces, and armaments like whipcord throwers, flamethrowers, and jetpacks. The armor was generally made from Beskar, a highly durable metal which was able to withstand even blaster fire while giving the user maximum protection. Between 55 and 62, you got Cybernetic Armor. Cybernetic Armor was armor that acted as a life support system for the individual. It would consist of a belt and chest plate that would hold the controls for the life support system, which would ensure the individual received enough oxygen, nutrients, and medicine. Through the system, the individual could withstand nearly any environment, including the vacuum of space. The armor's boots featured magnetic clamps, which could adhere the suit to metallic surfaces. Between 63 and 70, you got Sith robes. Sith robes were the typical garb worn by members of the Sith Order. They were black in color and loose-fitting with a collared coat belted at the waist. The very large hood would drape down the back while the sleeves were elongated and almost touched the ground. The Sith generally favored simpler black garments that would conceal them as if they were creatures of the night. Interested in finding out more about who you'd be in the Star Wars universe? Check out my other quizzes. Anyways, I hope you had fun completing the quiz. So which one did you get? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.